Nathan Laney here from Urban Boxing Studios. For today's video, we're going right back to the basics. We're gonna look at um, the basics of guard, stance, um, basic footwork, linear and um, lateral footwork. Um, this was requested by one of our members, Rich, who's been struggling with his footwork since he joined, and he just wants a little recap and um, just to refresh um, those basic skills. Okay, so before we talk about footwork and movement, let's go uh, right to the basics and look at our uh, stance and guard. Okay, so for the purposes of this, I'm just going to use this foam striking stick. It might, it's going to help us with alignment and it's going to give you guys on the other side of the camera a visual aid to see um, how my feet are aligned. Okay. So, we want to see our feet, um, our lead foot, our toe, on one side of the, the striking stick and my heel the other side of the striking stick. We want my, our feet um, slightly wider than shoulder width apart and we want our weight transferred to the balls of our feet with nice soft knees. Okay? The reason we want the weight to our balls of our feet is we don't want to get stuck on our heels because from here that restricts our range of movement. So we want to be on the balls of our feet but not on our tiptoes. Okay. From here we're going to look at our guard. So we're going to look at a split guard. So our lead hand is going to sit just in front of our face. Elbow tucked in really nice and tight. Your rear hand is going to sit elbow into your ribs, fist in line with your um, cheekbone. From here, we want to make sure that we're keeping our elbows tucked in and forwards, okay? That gives us a nice solid guard and a nice solid base. Okay, now we're gonna look at uh, movement linear and lateral footwork, okay? Forwards and backwards, left and right. Okay, so we spoke about it in the very first section of the video, making sure that our feet are aligned with heel and heel toe, okay? We want this nice solid base and we wanna try and retain this base when we're moving. moving. Um, so when we're boxing, we, we are moving in a way that enables us to keep this base and keep that alignment that we spoke about. Okay, so when we're moving left and right, if we're going to move left, we want to move left foot first, right foot follows. If we go right, right foot first, left foot follows. And you notice I've kept exactly the same alignment. If I was to, to move um, the opposite way, if I was moving left, I would move right foot first. From here you notice that makes me cross my feet. And from this position, we're in a very unbalanced position. And if we were to get hit or we wanted to move from this position, it would be very, very difficult. So when we move left and right, left, left foot first. When we move right, right foot, front foot follows. Okay, now we're gonna talk about linear movement. Movement forwards and backwards. Um, we want to maintain our stance, as we spoke about in the previous video. Um, now we're going to talk about linear movement, movement forwards and backwards. We want to try and retain, when we're moving forwards and backwards, we want to retain the width in our stance. We don't want to be creeping our stance up so it becomes really narrow and unbalanced. So the way that we do this, it, the way that we move, we're going to move front foot, back foot follows. Front foot, back foot follows, back foot, front foot follows, back foot, front foot follows. It's really important. If your front foot moves three inches, your back foot moves three inches, by doing that, you make sure you keep the same distance and you keep a nice solid base. So one more time, so as we go forward, front foot, back foot, front foot, back foot. As we go backwards, back foot, front foot, back foot, front foot part of our beginner's footwork video, we are going to look at angle changes, okay? This is where we see um, the most problems, I would guess, with, with our newer members or people that are new to the class. If we're going to see people crossing their feet over, this is typically where we going to see it. Okay, so, again, from our base, solid base, heel toe aligned. When we are looking to pivot, we, two things need to happen. We need to make sure our weight is balanced nicely into the balls of our feet because this allows room for our hips to rotate. We need to have our stance 
open and heel toe aligned because this also allows room for our hips to rotate. If our stance is closed, it's really difficult for our hips to rotate from this position. Okay, so our very first step when we pivot is going to allow room for rotation. So we're going to step two inches with our lead foot. From here, you're going to pivot your rear leg round 45 degrees and your front foot is going to rotate with it. Okay? Now it's really important if you look at my front foot that my front foot, as I step, rotates with my back foot. If it doesn't, you will get stuck. From here, you'll get stuck and you'll cross your feet over. Now this is really, really important. If you don't um, keep that lead foot um, heel off the floor and able to rotate, you're going to damage your knee ligaments every time that you pivot because that's not a natural position. Your knee's not meant to point one knee, your knee point that way when your body's facing this way. Everything needs to be aligned and pointed in the same direction. So one more time, we're going to step our lead foot and we're going to pivot and pivot our front foot with our rear foot. Rear foot moving in a clockwise direction. Now we're going to look at an angle change to your right. Okay, from here, we are going to step our rear foot out and rotate and look towards our target. Okay? We're going to step our rear foot out, rotate our hips to look towards our target. Maintaining shoulder width apart, maintaining heel toe alignment and a nice balanced stance. One more time, step your rear foot out and rotate your hips to point towards the target. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helps you master the fundamentals. Please make sure you like, share, comment below, tell us how you got on, and also please subscribe and press the notifications bell. If you do that, you'll be the first to know when we get a new video online. We post daily, so there's always fresh content for you to have a look at.